this is a recipe that is always good to see someone make it. I am making this little video so you can actually get an idea of really how easy it is to do once you see someone make it. For a pound of Athens phyllo, you have to trim the sheets to fit a 9 by 13 inch pan. So I'm going to cut off about, looks like maybe an inch and, whoops, inch and a half. The best kind of brush to use is one of these boar bristle paint brushes. What I did was I put crazy glue way deep down inside the bottom of the bristles that eliminated any uh, shedding. These brushes tend to shed quite a bit and you'll get bristles in your baklava, which you do not want. Here's uh, like about a mm, little bit over half a cup of butter and you, you can also use spray a lower calorie baklava. You can use spray, alternate layers of spray with, with butter, but you just want to make sure that you really thoroughly coat every surface of each layer. So you, you get going here and you build up a a momentum and a rhythm with this. You can really whip a pan of this out pretty fast. For this size pan and one pound of phyllo, I have one cup of ground walnuts. As the recipe calls for adding sh two tablespoons of sugar and cinnamon into the ground walnuts, which I don't do. I just use the ground walnuts. I put about maybe a, a scant teaspoon of cinnamon in my syrup. I, I just think that when you mix the sugar in with the walnuts, sometimes you get kind of a, a caramelization makes like a solid mass of the walnut layer that detracts from the, the texture of the, the finished product. So this, I just do this. I don't really count how many layers. I know that I want to put two layers of walnuts in between the, the beginning and the end here. So I'll, I'll just eyeball that. And you just do this. And, uh, your syrup is uh, on the stove while you're doing this. When you're about three quarters of the way through your first um, package of, of phyllo, you can uh, put down a layer of walnuts. And I have about a cup of walnuts here, so I'm gonna put about half a cup of walnuts spread out here and just kind of tap them around to give them an even, even layer. And I'm cheating here. I'm using a little bit of uh, butter spray because I'm a little bit scant on butter. And when you put that um, layer of walnuts on, you'll notice that your next layer of phyllo is going to want to jump out of the pan. So butter down the edges first, and that'll kind of secure that layer. And you really do have to lay uh, butter every single layer of phyllo, because if you don't, you will have like a gummy hard layer phyllo in your baklava, which you don't want. Now, now, my syrup is a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of water, and I put about a teaspoon of cinnamon in here, 
And uh, if you don't have any, uh, a fresh lemon, I cheated, my cheat lemon is about a pinch of lemon Kool-Aid. Lemon Kool-Aid is one of the most versatile little secret ingredients that you can have in your kitchen. Because anytime you need lemon juice and you are in a pinch and you don't have any, lemon Kool-Aid is far better than that lemon juice that comes in one of those plastic things. Do they still sell those? Those yellow plastic lemons, remember those? Now, you take a very sharp knife and to get the, those nice diamond shapes, you want to cut diagonally. I score it first just to kind of measure it off. And just, uh, I'm, I'm about an, you space them about an inch. After you mark them off, then you can, you can cut through. And you have to cut right through to the bottom. Now you, I'm just uh, cutting through. You want to make sure you cut, you cut through to the bottom you layer. You want to make sure that the, the knife hits the pan. You might want to use a knife like this. Now we have our layers are all cut through to the bottom. Now this will go into uh, a 325 degree oven for 30 minutes and then you're going to turn the heat down and you are going to let it bake for uh, probably oh, 50 minutes to an hour. Oh my shoulder. <laughs> um, yeah, 225. Our baklava is uh, all finished baking. And the, the way that you really know your baklava is fully cooked is if you take a fork and you, you, you test the middle layers and if they crunch, you see, if they crunch, then you know it's finished. Now we have this hot baklava and we have the cooled syrup and we are going to pour our cool syrup over the hot baklava. The big secret to making really special baklava is this orange flower water. And I like to use a heavy hand with this. And you put this in your syrup uh, after it's all cooked. I've already put some in it, but it never hurts to add a little more. And uh, this is really the thing that I feel gives the baklava that super um, exotic flavor. And then you'll hear that sizzling when you pour the syrup over. I want to pour it over evenly. The baklava is truly delicious when it's hot. So there you have it. Baklava made simple.